Now, some foreign governments are investing in Mali to prevent it from falling into rebel hands. France has planned to send 2,500 soldiers to support the Malian army. 750 troops have already arrived. Western governments such as Great Britain and Canada have promised limited help. They are providing cargo planes for one week. ECOWAS, the group of West African nations, plans to start sending in 3,300 soldiers from next week. They were originally set to arrive in September. And the European Union has promised to send 200 military trainers for Malian and ECOWAS soldiers by the end of next month. The U.S. says it is still considering how else it can help French forces. There is uh, no consideration of uh, putting any American boots on the ground uh, at this time. Uh, we have commended the French for this effort to try to uh, uh, go into uh, Mali to uh, stop uh, the AQIM, uh, the, the, these terrorists uh, and uh, members of al-Qaeda, uh, from being able to develop uh, a base of operations uh, in Mali. And joining us now is Sylvain Toit. He's an associate fellow at the French Institute for International Relations. Thanks for being with us. So you heard the support, understanding as well for the French mission, but the U.S. quite adamant at this stage there will be no direct military involvement from their side. In other words, no uh, troops on the ground. How important would it have been for France to secure this kind of uh, direct military support from such powerful Western allies? Um, I think what was important from the U.S. Uh, and what France is still asking to the U.S. and the U.S. are considering uh, is the fact of gathering intelligence. Uh, notably, uh, France is lacking drones uh, to, uh, to overwatch the situation in the north. As uh, you know, the country is so vast, the region is so vast, we're talking about um, a war zone of the size of France. And France, I think, the full French army has only less than a dozen of drones and they're not deployed yet on the field, while the U.S. is one of the specialties of the U.S. troops, and also satellite intelligence, I believe. Um, I think also from Canada and uh, Great Britain is about cargo transport. Uh, the French army is lacking uh, cargo transport. We don't have uh, enough uh, military plane to carry our tanks or uh, transport um, vehicles uh, on the ground. Uh, we have this problem in Afghanistan. We have to use Russian cargo to transport our troops in Afghanistan and to get out of Afghanistan. And I think here in Mali, we see that French army uh, lacks this equipment again. So you mentioned the importance of intelligence and logistical support. Yeah. But just looking as, at, as you say, the vastness of this territory, the north being the size of France, if not mm. bigger, how, how likely is this mission uh, led by the French? Of course, there will be African troops as well joining us, 3,300. How likely are they to make any significant difference when the territory is so vast? Uh, that's one of the big issues about this mission, this international mission. We were talking for the recent months, uh, many experts were doping that uh, African-led operation uh, can uh, do the job. Uh, there were like a lot of many doubts at the uh, US, UN Security Council during the discussion when they were negotiating the resolution. The American and uh, also the French doubt that ECOWAS could do the job by itself, all the Malian army. And there were always um, international support from uh, European countries and the US to be there anyway. Uh, the fact that France intervened earlier and is going to stabilize the, 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 the situation, as uh, President, uh, President Hollande mentioned, is, uh, is a big engagement. Uh, I don't really know, I'm not really sure that the French army know how they're going to get out of the, of the situation, what is the uh, outcome. Well, was the it intervention. a mistake then to get in to something like this without a clear end game? No, I think that I think uh, France really push for uh, not getting involved. I think for the last nine months, um, ECOWAS country wanted France to intervene. Many African, uh, West Af Western African powers wanted France to intervene, and President Hollande hold back. Uh, President Sarkozy before him did the same, and uh, I think there were not much choice to do it because no one, no one wanted to intervene, and the only uh, military power who could do it was France. Uh, and I think no, uh, it was a good move. My perception, it was a good move to intervene, but the problem is. I don't think there is at the moment a forecast of how to get out of the country and what is the end game in this mission. But, but knowing the region as well as you do, yeah. can, can this kind of mission ever end in a matter of days or weeks as the French suggest? That's the thing. I think that uh, saying that President Hollande did a good move to intervene but not mentioning that we're going to get out the troop, French troop when the mission is just stable, I don't think it's, uh, it's really uh, something to say right now. I think uh, the, the, he should mention that French army will do the job and finish the job with the support of uh, Western countries. It's true that France can be alone 
from there. If they need uh, support from the allies, uh, they need support from the Western African allies, they need support from Algeria. Algeria needs to be more active on the ground as well. Uh, we need to have an international uh, force there. And also, when and if the military situation is solved, the main important thing is to resolve this political crisis around the Tuareg uh, issue, about the Tuareg secession issue, and also the development of the Sahelian region. What we've seen in Mali could also happen in Niger, it can happen in Chad, it can happen in northern Senegal, in Mauritania. This region is really, really, really weak and is really poor and needs to be developed. And it's been mentioned by so many experts in the recent year, but nothing has been done. You need to have investment in infrastructure, you need to have investment in agriculture, you need to have investment in so many different sectors to make this country viable. And at the moment, it's not the case. Sylvain Trati, thanks very much. You're welcome.